Happy New Year everyone. Our video today describes our time in Colombia. We left then again in Santa Marta Marina and explored overland, visiting Minca, Cartagena and the Amazon. Enjoy! Our passage from Curacao to Santa Marta was nearly 400 miles and just over three days, so about 130 miles per day. We had a good following breeze the whole way um, and uh, we did most of the passage with just the Yankee. It um, was a pretty good passage but the sea conditions changed um, from time to time as we got into positive current and then uh, negative current um, which made quite a difference to the sea state. Santa Marta Marina is right next to the city, which we found to be a wonderful, vibrant, lively town with lots of music and art. We spent a few days in Minca, which is a little village just a short bus ride away from Santa Marta, up in the Sierra Nevada mountains. Colombia is world renowned for its amazing bird life. On this tour alone that we did in Minca, we saw so many birds. The ones pictured include a Baltimore Oriole, Toucan and a Pygmy Owl. La Victoria coffee plantation and brewery dates back over a hundred years. It's completely organic and as you can see the machinery is all Victorian era and works amazingly well. Just incredible to see. After our visit to the La Victoria coffee plantation we headed higher up into the mountains to the indigenous village of Escuda. You can see all those bushes all over the place, they're all coffee bushes, so it's a huge coffee growing area. By the time we got to Escuda, unfortunately the cloud had descended on the mountain, so there wasn't a great deal to see. However, Juan, our host, told us lots about his culture and his heritage, and here he is showing us some mochilas, which are like little backpacks that's made out of flax, which is the bush behind him. So, wisdom. Love. Love. Respect, Respect and, and the past. Cartagena is one of the oldest cities in Colombia. Many of the buildings pictured here date from the 17th century. Cartagena is known by the locals as La Heroica and that's because of its role in the independence movement of the early 19th century. The city boasts many museums commemorating its colonial past and also the Inquisition. One interesting fact we learned was that the door knockers in the old town buildings actually tell you the backgrounds of their owners. The neighbouring suburb of Gethsemane used to be a very working class part of Cartagena, but has since evolved into a very bright and vibrant cultural centre. Cartagena also boasts a park which has plenty of monkeys but also a few sloths. It didn't rain much during our visit to Cartagena but when it did the local sewage system became quickly overwhelmed as you can see here.
So our Amazon adventure started in the town of Letitia, where we climbed the local church tower to view the amazing nightly spectacle of thousands of parrots roosting. The next day we trudged down the muddy riverbank to pick up our first boat that would take us to the fast ferry to the indigenous village of Puerto Nareño. Here we are on a boat in the Amazon searching for the elusive Amazon pink dolphins. There are pink and grey dolphins in the Amazon but the pink varieties are a lot harder to see because they don't tend to jump out of the water as much as the grey ones. However, when we went to the Peruvian side of the river and had a swim, we noticed that a few pink dolphins had followed us over to that side and were actually mating in the shallows. You might be able to see them at the top half of the screen. Puruku fish can grow up to 3 metres in length and weigh up to 200 kilograms. The following day we returned to the Peruvian side of the Amazon where we visited another indigenous village and took part in a tour of the rainforest. The leaf yeah. awesome. Ah, workaholic ants. All the time they're just collecting pieces of it. That afternoon we did a spot of piranha fishing in a lovely little lake just off the river Amazon. We ended up catching eight of the fish, we kept four for dinner and they tasted pretty darn good. On our last day in the Amazon, we visited a monkey sanctuary that had squirrel monkeys as pictured and also some boco leche monkeys, which is so called because they've got these white markings around their mouth like they've been drinking milk. Before we knew it, we were back in Letitia and then flying back to Santa Marta and back to our boat. We hope you enjoyed the video. Our next video will describe our Panama cruise through the San Blas Islands. Thanks for watching. See ya.